Hi, I'm Curtis Ross doing a nonfiction book review for children's literature, class RDG 291, Ocean's Animals, Who's Who of the Ocean Blue, by Joanne Rizzo, National Geographic Kids, with a blue tang on the cover, and when you open up the cover, there's a clownfish in their natural environment. For any child interested in becoming a marine biologist, Miss Rizzo has compiled a picture book with facts and beautiful pictures Ms. Rizzo is a former staff writer for National Geographic Magazine and is the editor at National Geographic Books with the Smithsonian Freer and Shackle Galleries. She is a frequent contrib contributor to National Geographic Kids Books and has written for Scientific America. Her extensive knowledge in marine biology has created detailed explanations of the ocean life and visually appealing books for all ages to enjoy. This book is catered more to ages 8 through 14. Making the selection of this book, I went to the local Barnes & Noble and was looking through the ages suggested for this assignment. This book caught my attention. The cover was very appealing and with the National Geographic text, I had to look more closely at the book. After flipping through the book, and found the detailed explanations of the sea animals and the colorful pictures. I thought this would be a good book for a for grades four through eight. The book is actually very interesting. It uh, gives you detailed explanations of coral reefs. It also uh, breaks down some of the uh, fish in their natural environment and gives you very beautiful pictures and uh, explanations to their environment. What I had learned uh, while reading through here is that some marine biologists are claiming that there's a fifth ocean, uh, which I did not know. They're trying to uh, call this the Antarctic, Australian, or Southern Ocean. This is the area where the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Ocean meets around the continent of Antarctica. I also learned that there's uh, layers of life in the ocean. The sunlight, the twilight, and the midnight. And the further that you go down, the less and more unusual the life forms become. When uh, looking through this book, I found it very, very interesting. They, um, some of the explanations that they give with some of the fish I found, or the marine life, I found very fascinating. The um, starfish will actually take its stomach outside of its body and use the fluid to break down its meals that way. When... Um, also, what is very, uh, what I learned is that the manta ray can actually weigh as much as a cow or 2,000 pounds. And it also has some very interesting um, information about sharks and goes into more explanations on some of the more popular sharks. The uh, Another thing that I found very uh, interesting that I did not know is that polar bears actually have black skin and that their quills or hair is hollow and from the light reflection that what makes it white. Now, another thing um, in, in this book is that you, you have whales and explanation of whales and dolphins, and the sperm whale can dive to 3,300 feet to find its prey. When um, going through here, there's a couple other things. Did you know that the killer whale is not a whale? It's a dolphin or the orca. There are so many um, different 
explanations of reptiles and sea creatures within this book and other fascinating uh, remarks like this right here, a marine iguana. Um, I did not know that there's a lizard that would dive up underneath the water to find its meals. It is an air breathing reptile, but it does do diving. For more detailed explanation, I think this book would be really good for any child. The accuracy <clears throat> on this, the author has done a few books concerning oceans and life forms that encompass this. She is an avid diver and has studied marine life for years. She has written many articles and books for National Geographic and Smithsonian. Um, the categories, this book would fall into a factual nonfiction category. In the structure, I think the, the combination of both styles is what's uh, being presented here. The organizational pattern would be descriptive. The style is a, is more of a descriptive language. Um, she just states more of facts. Organizational tools, it does have a table of contents, an index, and a timeline. The graphics and visual features, the photographs, specific vocabulary, and double page spreads which are actually very nice and very visually appealing. I had very basic knowledge about oceans and animals that encompass them. This helped me understand how animals live within the oceans. This book would be great for kids ages 8 through 16 to learn basic information of the Earth's oceans and send them on a journey to learn more about marine life. Some of the context may be difficult for ages 8 through 10 and should, be for, should not be for younger children, but this could be used as a picture book to be read to children by their parents. I would definitely recommend this book. The colored photographs that were taken under the water and explanations of all kinds of sea life, this could make any kid want to become a marine biologist. I think the intelligence level of the book will be challenging enjoyable, and enjoyable and will leave the child wanting to learn more.